Well, combinatorial chemistry is uh, just like uh, Legos. You use different pieces of Lego and build some structures. So combinatorial chemistry is similar to that. It's basically you get pieces of chemical molecules and join them together to form a new molecule. So we can create thousands to millions of molecules and then screen them against the cancer cell. Uh, one of the things we do is to find out whether they kill the cancer cells or not. Uh, the other function we can look for is do they bind to the cancer cell or not. You know, for the molecule that bind to the cancer cell surface, we can use it as a vehicle to deliver drugs to the cancer cell so that we can spare the patient a lot of side effects. So this is an, one of the purposes of combinatorial chemistry. If uh, a user want to find a specific molecule that binds to a breast cancer cells, for example, or uh, breast cancer stem cells, so what we can do is to create chemical libraries, usually peptide libraries or some other unnatural moiety we can put into the peptide library to make a large number of chemical molecules. Then we'll, you know, ask the user to bring us some cells and they can actually do the screening in our laboratory. And so we mix the cells with the bead library and then incubate it for a period of time, maybe 15 minutes to half an hour. Uh, and after that, we look under the microscope, find out which bead, the chemical bead library bead actually is coded by the cancer cell. So then under the microscope, we can identify them and physically under the microscope, we can pick it up by a micropipette. And at that single bead that the cell coded by the cells, we'll have the molecule that would bind to the cancer cell. And that potentially can be used to deliver drugs to the cancer cell. So some of the beads cannot be uh, decoded by a microsequencer because they are not peptides. So we need to use uh, mass spectrometry to decode them. So to do that, we need to treat the bead with uh, a molecule, uh, a, a chemical to remove the chemical barcode from each bead. And then the chemical barcode can then be injected into a mass spectrometer and then we can determine what the chemical structure is. We also teach them how to use the chemical libraries, how to screen for it and what to do afterwards once we find some molecules. So we really work closely with the user step by step and, and so that we can really enhance what they need to find out for the project, what they need to do for the projects. So our, our laboratory also have uh, different equipment that can uh, allow us to make peptides and analyze peptides and also analyze some chemical molecules that we make. We can also perform custom synthesis of some unusual molecules for customers. Uh, we have robots that make peptides on the beads. We have also many screening methods that we developed. Uh, some of them are fluorescent based, some of them are just optically, you know, using dissecting microscope, we can screen that and some are uh, method we use audio radiography because of the radioactive probe that we use. So we also can work with the researcher to the user to develop a new assay system for their specific project. So we, we in addition to making chemical libraries, we can also uh, perform different screening assay system that we are really expert in. One of the areas of research that we're interested in was how T cells respond to cancers and how a cancer can be cleared from, uh, the immune, by the immune system. Uh, we, we've started many, many collaborations with this core resource. One of them is looking for new ligands for cancer, and it's something that UC Davis has been on the forefront of doing for many years. Uh, we're taking a slightly different spin on it, um, but it's, it's still basically the prin same principles hold the same. And the other thing we're doing is we're actually engineering T cells to recognize cancer in a different way. The shared resource has been friendly, helpful, and uh, very knowledgeable, and it's gotten us to a point in our research that we would never have been able to achieve on our own.